Hola, mi nombre es Rocío González y esto es Chat Museográfico. El día de hoy tenemos el placer de charlar con Asimina Grigorio, arqueóloga y museóloga graduada del Departamento de Historia y Arqueología de la Universidad de Atenas. Continúa sus estudios de posgrado en Arqueología y Museología en la Universidad Sorbona, en París, y en la Escuela de Louvre, respectivamente. Desde el 2007 colabora con el Ministerio de Cultura de Grecia en el campo de los museos, y desde 2010 trabaja como profesional independiente de museos, siendo su principal ocupación el dibujo y la implementación de proyectos museológicos, el inventario y la documentación de las colecciones y archivos de los museos y su investigación. También charlamos con Ifigenia Dimitriou, arquitecta, ingeniera, museóloga, directora de cine, graduada de la Escuela de Arquitectura de la Universidad Técnica Nacional de Atenas, con una maestría en Arquitectura, Arte y Espacio Efímero por la Escuela Politécnica de Cataluña en Barcelona. Posteriormente, realiza estudios de cine en New York Film Academy en Nueva York. Se gradúa de la Escuela de Cine de la Universidad Queen Margaret con la beca y el título de dirección. Es candidata a doctorado de la Escuela de Arquitectura Técnica Nacional de Atenas en el tema Arquitectura y Cine. Desde el 2007 mantiene su oficina y su estudio en Atenas y al mismo tiempo colabora con el Ministerio de Cultura griega en el campo de diseño de exposiciones, restauración de monumentos, utilizando también su experiencia de creación de documentales, principalmente arqueológicos y producciones audiovisuales para museos y exposiciones. Ambas son cofundadoras de Museum Exhibition, el equipo presta servicios de estudios museológicos, museográficos, exposiciones permanentes y temporales, inventario y documentación para colecciones y archivos de museos, así como producción de material audiovisual para museos documentales, históricos y arqueológicos. El día de hoy estoy muy contenta. Voy a, a recibir a este par de mujeres Súper interesantes que nos visitan el día de hoy desde Grecia, desde la ciudad de Atenas. Bienvenida, Simina, bienvenida, Ifigenia. Eh, bienvenidas a Chat Museográfico. <ríe> eh, el día de hoy voy a tener que cambiar a inglés. Es nuestro primer video que hacemos una entrevista en inglés. Entonces voy a cambiar al idioma inglés para poder entendernos todas. ¿Ok? Welcome, girls. Uh, I'm very glad to have you in the in chat museográfico. Uh, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's a place to to chat. It's a place to share your experiences and also your history, like uh, museum designers. And you have a lot of very cool things to share. So welcome and thank you very much thank for you your invitation. Yes, we're very happy to be here and it's an honor for us. <laughs> uh, and we can start. <laughs> so. Yes, of course. Uh, I think uh, we are going to, to make this in a different way. So today I think my first question is uh, how did you meet guys? How did we meet? So it was back in 2007, I yes, think. Yes. And uh, we were both working at the Ministry of Culture. Mm -hmm. We had the chance to collaborate sometimes in various projects uh, concerning monuments restoration or archaeological documentation and museum exhibitions. Yes. And during the next few years, we were still looking for our orientation, I think. But despite, despite that fact, and that each one was working in separate projects, either for the Ministry of Culture or as freelancers, we were still following a common and parallel path. Mm, yes, uh, for example, uh, we both experienced uh, back then, uh, I remember the museum study for the renovation of uh, the Museum of Modern Greek Culture. Mm -hmm. Uh, this specific museum is one of the oldest museums in uh, the country. It was founded in 1918 
it's like 100 years. Mm -hmm. And now it is located in an entire block in the center of uh, the old Athens, Plata. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there's a long history. Uh, the city unfolds uh, in a mosaic of buildings remains. For example, there is a Roman wall, a Christian basilica, a 17th century chapel, as well as um, houses of the 19th and the 20th century. Mm -hmm. And our experience in the museum field uh, led us to understand that we want to deal uh, dynamically with this kind of projects. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's great. So this is the start of your um, collaboration or your constant, constant collaboration is the beginning of your partnership? Yes, yes. exactly. Uh, it was when we started to collaborate uh, as uh, it depended, no, I mean after uh, the we started this project. After this project that I just uh, described, uh, we started to collaborate as independent uh, professionals. Mm -hmm. uh, back in uh, 2012, mm -hmm. uh, we had to accomplish a museum study uh, for the Municipal Art Gallery mm -hmm. of a small town in uh, Greece. Uh, this project was demanding. Uh, we had to deal with a significant modern Greek work of art and we had to design an exhibition uh, into a listed monument of 1853 and at the same time uh, me and my team had to make a restoration study for the building. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was the first deal we had I think and uh, but from the very beginning, it was very clear that, that we had a very special match. And uh, we had also a common view in terms of aesthetic of how we conceive any new project and even more in terms of uh, how we organize our work. Mm -hmm. And at that time, uh, Iphigenia was already running her own architectural studio in Athens, the yes. IFO studio. IFO studio. Mm -hmm. So we had a common base to work together. Uh, although we, we knew that we wanted to go further and to be designated as museum specialists. And that's how the team museum exhibition has been born. Mm -hmm. And now looking back, I think it was a great decision. Yes, make. I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because the years to come, we led some important projects that we are very proud of. Ah. You can tell us about your your more important projects or, or the most um, caring <laughs> or deep in your heart kind of projects. Yes, <laughs> uh, I think Asimina agree that uh, the most recent and uh, prominent project uh, of our team was the museum study for a uh, Chiller Loverdo's mansion. Mm -hmm in the center of Athens. Um, the exhibition had to focus on an important uh, post-Byzantine collection of religious icons. Oh. Just to let you know a bit about the history of the building, uh, mm -hmm. because it's very important. Uh, the mansion was built in uh, 1882. At first, it was the resident of the famous German architect here in Greece, uh, Ernst Schiller. Mm -hmm. uh, known as the main uh, representative of the neoclassical rhythm in oh. Greece. And later on, it became the residence of uh, Dionysius Loverdos, who had an important uh, collection of these religious icons, mm -hmm. and uh, who established, I think, in 1930, in, in, uh, 30s. in the 30s, yeah, in uh, the first private uh, Byzantine museum in Greece that was very also important for that era. Mm -hmm. uh, which mainly concerned uh, the intellectual public of the era. Yes, it was like a private museum. It was a private museum, yes. But uh, we were lucky because uh, Iphigenia's uh, architectural team had uh, already led the whole restoration project of, the, of this building, mm -hmm. meaning that we began to work having an excellent knowledge of the exhibition space because it was an extremely complicated uh, building. Uh, it witnesses the 
conflict and coexistence of two different historical architectural trends of the 19th and 20th century. So the purpose of the museum was to, of the study was to create a museum that will highlight the history and the architecture of the building and will focus on the two main personalities, Ernst Stiller and Dionysius Loverdos, and will of course exhibit an important part of the Loverdos collection. And for that purpose, we try to dedicate the well-balanced space to each one of the owners mm -hmm. of the building. The proposed constructions were as discreet uh, as possible uh, because we didn't want to isolate the visitor's eye. Mm -hmm. So they could admire the building as well because the building is a monument also. Uh, it's part of the exhibition. Mm -hmm used a lot of digital technology to offer uh, additional information, mm -hmm. uh, but also to turn the exhibition space into a um, more contemporary space. Mm -hmm. uh, and in fact, yes, the, this museum, the Tiller Slovervos Museum, opened its gates very recently to the public in May 2021. Oh, yes, wow. it's been like yeah. uh, six months. Six months yes, ago. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> that's really cool. Yes, but we have a, a next project. <laughs> <laughs> older one, but uh, this is a project that we are the proudest of, I think. Uh, it is the Sotiria Museum. Mm -hmm. uh, this museum is located uh, in a listed building in this, a very central hospital in Athens. Oh, wow. And uh, now it is the main COVID hospital yes. here in Athens. It's the main COVID hospital. Oh, uh, okay. but it was founded in 1902 mm -hmm. as the first popular sanatorium in Greece. Mm -hmm. uh, and since then it has associated its name with the treatment of pulmonary tuberculosis in our country. So we were we were leading a working group that carried out an architectural survey and restoration study of the building and a museum study. Wow. So this museum <clears throat> seems to present the fight against tuberculosis in Greece and especially in Soteria. And uh, it has to tell a story of more than 100 years now through objects and people and events and um, it aims to highlight and promote a very important but unknown collection to the general public. It is mainly a medical collection. Wow. And uh, we try to present the rapid evolution of technology, especially regarding medical equipment, and also to integrate the building itself into the service of the society. And uh, the truth is that our pur purpose uh, was to highlight this special uh, subject that is really unique in Greece mm -hmm. and to create an exhibition um, uh, which be understandable not only by a specific scienti scientific audience uh, but also by all kinds of people. That's why the collection is presented in such a way that uh, the wide audience Mm -hmm. can gain useful knowledge about the history of a pandemic uh, that was yes. tuberculosis. Wow. And when we carried out the study, we had no idea about the future, but the great thing is that today, because yeah. of the COVID-19, this museum is really timeless and more relevant than ever. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> it's a trend topic now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, the exhibition of Sotiria Museum is based on uh, real objects, oh. but uses uh, also digital media and a lot of additional material. Uh, and the goal is to not stick only to the scientific aspect of the tuberculosis fight, uh, but express the impact of the illness um, on people and societies. And that's why part of the exhibition is, the, and this is very interesting, uh, is based on, uh, is dedicated to arts, 
-hmm. which were affected by tuberculosis, such like. as uh, cinema, literature, music. music. Oh, wow. And of course, uh, we have tried to show the human aspect of this mm -hmm. disease. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yes. I, I think love. this kind of a subject because I have a extremely yes. attached with doctors. It's a very common subject, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> but uh, we have been very lucky because uh, we were the witnesses of a great discovery, mm -hmm. uh, which occurred by chance uh, just before the beginning of our work. Mm -hmm. And that is the, the so-called Soteria Archive. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, refers to the personal belonging of uh, tubercular patients who ended up in Soteria Hospital during the years 1937 to 1981, mm. and had never been sought by their relatives during the war. Imagine we have oh, many. Wow. Yeah. So uh, the, their personal belongings, in fact. Mm. It is a great amount of letters, uh, documents, and uh, utility items. Photographs. Photographs, yes. And uh, they emerged uh, from abandoned suitcases in the area of the hospital. Mm. Wow. So it was, uh, yes, very, very important because mm. the, the archive became part of the museum collection, of course, and uh, its uh, inventoring and documentation. Mm -hmm. Help us to incorporate a part of it in our studies, and uh, instantly the exhibition concept uh, took a d different dimension, much more human centered. And uh, hopefully, uh, the museum will be ready, I think, now in October 2023. Oh, wow! And because it is a part of the national funding program, so I, I really like to see that yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will be invited <laughs> you will be invited of course <laughs> yes, yes. Um, do you want to talk about another project oh. um oh, or do you want to tell us about um uh, what are the strong part of your teamwork because uh, you have a very like a very special team. So do you want to share something about that? Yes, of course. Um, I think that our team is not a closed team. Uh, it's based on a common uh, framework. Uh, and our goal is always to undertake common projects. Um, however, uh, given the opportunity, each one of us uh, is free to also follow her, her own steps. Her own yes. steps. And this is very nice and positive, mm -hmm. uh, as it is the result of a mutual uh, respect. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, uh, help us to enlarge this network yes. of mm -hmm. our par yes. partners uh, that are specialized in the field of museum exhibitions. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, Asimina, through the last years, uh, has also carried out great projects, uh, such as the inventoring and documentation of the photographic archives yes. of Yanis uh, um, uh, Papas. The Greek sculpture. A very famous Greek sculpture. Mm -hmm. uh, and as well as the project of the Museum of Modern Ceramic in uh, Sifnos Island. Mm -hmm. Ah, wow. right. <laughs> Very good, well said. <laughs> but Iphigenia too has undertaken recently a really important project uh, along with an acclaimed team. She's the art director of uh, the new exhibition of the Byzantine Palace of Mistras near Sparta, a very important archaeological site in Greece. And the exhibition aims to give life uh, to the palace and consi consists mainly of digital media and audiovisual productions, I think. Yes. Oh yes, and uh, we think that uh, uh, a very strong characteristic of our team uh, is that we can undertake a, a project from zero mm -hmm. till the end. Yes. Uh, we can offer a total package of services. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Asimina has an important experience in collection, documentation, and inventorying. Yeah. Uh, so we can build a collection from the beginning and always make a profound research of, uh, in this sector we have to deal with. Yeah. Uh, I don't but, know um, on the other hand, Ifigenia, beyond her architectural, architectural and museological background, can design as film director all the audiovisual program of the museum since she has completed until now many archaeological documentaries for museums and archaeological sites. Yeah, I, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> so that's <Yes>. us. <laughs> well, girls, I'm, I'm very, very happy to have you today. And thank you so more much for sharing with us. Thank and you. And I hope to see you again. We, we cross this uh, wall, so <laughs> I think we can make it again. <laughs> We will invite you in the opening of the first museum which will yes. open. Yes. I hope it will disappear. Like yes. yes. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, Rocio. Good night. Bye. Bye. Les agradecemos haber estado con nosotros. Los esperamos en el siguiente chat museográfico.